The subdivision load line is a concept used primarily in the context of passenger ships under the SOLAS Convention, International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea. It is different from the standard load line under the Load Line Convention. Here's a breakdown of the key concepts and relationships. Small Blue Diamond, what is a subdivision load line? A subdivision load line is a special load line assigned to a passenger ship that indicates the maximum depth to which the ship can be loaded while still complying with the damage stability requirements of SOLAS, Chapter 2-1. It reflects the ship's capability to remain afloat and stable if certain compartments are flooded due to damage, essentially how well the ship is subdivided internally to limit flooding. Small Blue Diamond Purpose of the Subdivision Load Line to ensure the ship remains safe and stable even after sustaining damage to its hull. It provides a margin of safety for passenger ships, especially in the event of collision or grounding. Prevents overloading beyond the ship's capacity to comply with damage survivability standards. Small Blue Diamond Why is it required? Passenger ships carry many lives, and unlike cargo ships, a loss of stability due to flooding could have catastrophic consequences. Thus. SOLAS requires that these vessels meet specific probabilistic damage stability criteria, which are represented by the subdivision load line. It ensures compliance with SOLAS damage stability regulations, that the ship can survive certain damage conditions based on its subdivision, a high probability of passenger survivability in the event of flooding, small blue diamond relationship to the load line under load line convention. If the subdivision load line is lower than the regular load line, then the subdivision load line governs, i.e., the ship must not load deeper than this line, even if the regular load line allows more. The main differences between subdivisional load line as per SOLAS and load line under load line convention is stated below for reference. Factors in assigning subdivision load line. 1. Length of the ship. The longer the ship, the greater the risk of extensive flooding during collisions or accidents. SOLAS requirements vary based on length, for example, different damage assumptions, example, single versus multiple compartment flooding, apply based on ship size. Longer ships must typically meet stricter subdivision requirements. 2. Number of passengers carried. More passengers mean higher risk and stricter subdivision requirements. SOLAS mandates increased damage survivability based on passenger capacity. Ships carrying a large number of passengers must withstand flooding in multiple compartments to allow safe evacuation and prevent capsizing. 3. Watertight subdivision arrangement. This refers to how the ship is divided by watertight bulkheads into compartments. More and better placed bulkheads mean flooding can be contained to fewer compartments. Transverse watertight bulkheads separate compartments along the length. Longitudinal bulkheads can add further resilience. 4. Floodable length curve. A floodable length is the length of the ship that can be flooded without submerging the margin line, calculated at various points along the ship's length to determine critical zones. The curve determines how much of the ship can flood at any section and still remain safe. Affects where watertight bulkheads must be located. 5. Margin line. Defined by SOLAS, a line drawn 76 mm below the top of the bulkhead deck at side. After damage and flooding, the waterline must not rise above this line. Ensures reserve buoyancy is maintained. Critical safety limit in damage stability calculations. 6. Permeability of compartments. Permeability is the ratio of the volume of space that can be filled with water to the total volume of the compartment. Typical values from SOLAS machinery spaces, 0.85, passenger spaces, 0.95, and stores, 0.60. Helps in assessing how much water enters a compartment and how it affects buoyancy. 7. Compartment standard and probabilistic damage stability. Older rules use deterministic subdivision, flood one or two compartments. Modern SOLAS uses probabilistic damage stability evaluates ship's ability to survive various damage scenarios, assigns probabilities to different damages and calculates an A index, actual survivability, and compares it to R index, required. Subdivision load line is assigned such that A greater than or equal to R. 8. Damage assumptions, extent, and location. The assumed damage length is specified by SOLAS depending on ship's length. 
Damage can be side collision damage, bottom damage. Calculations must consider the worst case flooding scenarios. 9. Trim and heal after damage the ship must not develop excessive. Trim and heal. Excessive angles can hinder evacuation and stability. Damage stability analysis ensures the ship stays within acceptable limits. 10. Freeboard and deck immersion. Subdivision load line must ensure sufficient freeboard remains after flooding. No critical deck immersion compromises access, watertight integrity, and survivability. Subdivision load line marks. Passenger ships having spaces which are adapted for the accommodation of passengers and the carriage of cargo may have one or more additional load line marks corresponding to the subdivision drafts approved for the alternative conditions. These marks show C1 for the principal passenger condition and C2, etc. for alternative conditions. If the subdivision load line is more conservative, it means the ship's damage stability can only be assured at that reduced loading condition. Therefore, the safety of passengers takes priority and the subdivision load line prevails when it is more restrictive. Practical example, a passenger ship has international load line draft, 8.5 meters and subdivision load line, 8.0 meters. In this case, the ship must not be loaded beyond 8.0 meters draft, even though the ILL would technically allow 8.5 meters. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the channel. Please help us with your valuable feedback to